Okay, so this is my NASA enabled hexacopter. Um, I've had one battery through it so far just to sort of test, uh, make sure everything's okay, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, is my cat coming to have a look as well. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is um, just have another little test. You can see that the GPS pack has picked up a signal just from that. Um, and it's also quite a windy day today. Um, trees having to move around and over there. Right on cue. It really is fairly breezy, so what I'm going to do is um, send the hexer up hovering over there somewhere and then um, we'll see if the GPS holds it in place. So I'm going to pause this whilst I uh, get it up and then hopefully I'll be able to hold the camera. Okay, so there we go. It's uh, perhaps a little bit higher than I was expecting. So I'm just going to bring it down a touch. But uh, even in this wind, it's holding position really rather well. And it is pretty breezy, as I said. And there it is, exactly where I've told it to stay. And I've left the remote control on the floor, as you can see. I'm not touching it at all. I've got two hands on the camera. And it is moving around a bit, but that's hardly surprising in this wind. But really, if it wasn't in GPS mode, it would have disappeared before I'd even had a chance to pick up the camera. So you can see it's just drifting a tiny bit around, but otherwise, that's pretty, pretty damn impressive, really. I feel confident enough to um, be holding the camera rather than holding the controls, put it that way. And there it is, just sat there, having a little bit of a move around, but really I wouldn't normally even think of taking up my hexer out in this sort of wind. And this is the second flight, absolutely just the second battery I've had in it. Anyway, that'll do, point proved. That's a cracking little piece of kit. Thanks, and I'll uh, see you later.